Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, it is a little bit different. This is going to be a little review slash walkthrough. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on why I think this is the best drawing app for, you know, iPhone, Android, like a cell phone, smartphone type of thing. I do um, recommend Procreate for iPad, you know, tablets, but even then I'm pretty sure you can get this app on an iPad or a tablet, so I probably still use it anyway, but like I'm saying, I feel like this one is best for phones. So here you have the, you know, homepage and you can see all the daily rankings, sorry. So you can even click these and just see. Um, I'm pretty sure it's people's artwork that has shared it online, of course. So that's kind of cool. You can see people's artwork there. But I'm going to go to my gallery and I already have a little, like, little sketch drawn out for this video. So it's not the best. It's just a little quick chibi. But I'm going to hit edit and as you can see, we're on the first layer which is your line art. So I'm going to hit add layer, which is the little plus sign. Hit, um, put that to the top. And the first basic thing that we're going to do is just color it. And I'll give you guys some tips, some things that I've learned, I guess, in, you know, figured out and whatnot. So let me go over here. And you do have to color in like a little, you know, thing right there, because if you don't, it will seep through and go to the hair. So I'm going to use the bucket tool because it's a lot faster. So let me just quickly fill all this in. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time though because I don't want to make this video extremely long. And I probably won't be able to cover everything in this video, but I'll give you guys like an idea. Once you got that though, you're going to hit add layer again. And it's going to go above what you just colored. So let me hit clipping. That way you guys can go over what you just, you know, colored, but it's not going to leave outside the lines. So. You can freely color without worrying about it being sloppy looking. And yeah, you can color over this and it's not going to get on this right here. So I found that kind of neat. Okay, and one of the other things that I wanted to show you as well is I'm going to um, color in like some blushing right here. Now this is just one of the many ways you can go about giving it this effect, like the blending effect, blurring effect. You can use like an airbrush, you can do probably many other things, but I'm just going to show you one of the ways that is simple, easy to access. You're going to hit blur, and then you're going to come in and go over what you just colored. I do recommend going over it quite a bit because it blends it in more. So let me just do it a couple times, and same thing with this one. Again though, you can, you know, probably just use like airbrush tool if you want to but that's just again one of the many ways you can do it so once you've got that down I'm gonna go in and actually show you guys all of your brush selections that you can use so they just added a few actually but um, there's quite a bit for you know a basic drawing app but you can basically scroll and I do prefer the pen fade that's one of my favorites I do recommend the dip pen hard which is the second one at the top I recommend that one for outlining your, um, you know, line art and everything, but there is so many to choose from. Um, actually, I can show you guys as well. Okay, so I opened up a blank canvas just to kind of show you guys, like, you know, an idea. So the first thing I want to show you guys, this one, which is the one I was talking about, it's the dip pen hard. And as you can see, once you draw it out, it fades and it kind of, it looks more, you know, clean, I guess, in a way, rather than, like, if you were to go and use this one. It's just flat and it, you know, it doesn't look that great. I can't really explain it very well, but I'm sure you guys that, you know, draw digitally probably know what I'm trying to say. But, you know, like I said, there is many other ones to choose from. Um, let's see. There's even this. There's like the cloud effect, which is way down at the bottom. But you do have to kind of scroll for that. But I know you can actually save some of your favorites. So that's cool as well. In fact, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is one of my favorites that I like to use. This is probably recommended for, in my opinion, like skin texture. Like I use this for makeup, you know, things like that. But you also have this. And yeah, many, many other things. Um, I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about as well on the artwork that I was just drawing on. So let's go back to it. So let's go and add another layer, put that back up here, and go back down to the bottom. And I'm going to color in her hair. So let me quickly do that real quickly. 
Okay, so once you've got that down, let's go in and add another layer and then hit clipping again. So now let's go into the brushes and I recommend using the oil hair. Like if you want to give your hair some like shading and whatnot, give it more realism, I guess. Because as you can see, like once you go over it, it's gonna look a little bit more like hair. Instead of you guys just using like a basic average brush, I guess. Like if you zoom in, as you can see. So that one I use a lot for shading hair, giving it, you know, shadows or just in general like some yeah, I think you guys uh, probably know what I'm trying to say you can even uh, go in and give it some highlights as well some little yep but again that's just one of the other things I wanted to show you as well so now that we've got that done let me go back and add another layer for this one I thought I'd be well I was actually really excited to show you guys this so let's go over here, hit that, and for example, like if this was someone that was in Japan or you just like, you know, Japanese clothes in general, you can go here. And for example, like this is probably recommended for kimonos and whatnot. In fact, let's see, clothes patterns, you have this as well. So for example, like if she was wearing this, let me hit that. And that's just one of the ways you can do it, but as you can see, it kind of went into the background as well. So there's probably a much easier way to get around that, but you can just go in and erase what you don't want. But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat as well. So there's many other things you can choose from as far as like clothes textures, but you guys kind of get the idea. But once you've got that done, you can go in and you can either you know manually color your background or do the bucket tool or if you want something more you know better looking more cool you have many selections to choose from you just go here again and you can go to history this is what i've recently used i really like some of these they're really pretty but there's many you can choose from you can zoom in let's see you know, so many different ones to choose from, but you even have like bedrooms. But if you go here to all, you're gonna see what you have to se uh, select from. You can go to just background tones. You can go to anime backgrounds. There's over 200 of these, close to 300, but you have like schools, you have them at daytime, nighttime, evening. You have in classrooms, chalkboards, so many to choose from, hallways. If you keep scrolling though, you're gonna come down to um, some like, let's see, behind the school, like stairways. Again, there's so many to choose from and it has so many different features like daytime, nighttime. You have the swimming, school swimming pool. And then you have the woods, the forests, and so many others to choose from. So that's another cool thing that I fell in love with when I found out this app. But if you go here, you can hit emotion backgrounds. And I really, really love this one because if I'm working on like a little comic, like for a patron or something, but um, you can go here, and this one is used for like expression, like if they're surprised or angry, as you can see. Or you can go, let's see. Now they're, they are all black and white, which is the only unfortunate thing, so I don't know how you would get around that, but, you know, it is what it is. But if you go down further, we can even go and see many other options. So there's even Japanese, which I find really, really cool. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what they're saying, so I have no idea. I mean, it says, like, doggo, dogo, I don't know, bon. I'm not really sure if, if that's what that means, or if that's just what it's titled or something. I, I have no idea, but if you just hit it, you know. If you know your Japanese, that would be really cool for you. But yeah, that's another thing that I wanted to show you. So now that, oh, now that we've got that figured out, um, let me just go in and show you guys some other things I found pretty neat. Okay, I'm not sure if I actually already told you guys this, but the brushes that you guys have to select from, usually most of these will be locked, as in you can't use them. You have to be like a certain membership, like you have to pay a monthly fee for it, I'm pretty sure. Or when you see that little lock, you can actually press it and it allows you to watch it 
like a little ad for free and it takes like 10 seconds, sometimes 15 or 30 seconds, but once you watch the ad, you can actually use all the brushes for free for 18 hours. And if you're like me, constantly on this little app or drawing constantly, it's really useful. It's like almost for an entire day, just for free. And then you can do it again and just keep using it for free. So as you can see, I've already watched the ads, so I can use all of them for free right now. But I wanted to mention that as well because I don't know if I already did. But yeah, that's something else I found really interesting. But before we continue on with other things, let me show you something else that I kind of recently discovered. You're going to go to your line art and you can hit add layer again. And then you're going to go down here and hit multiply. And then from here, you can actually, I'm just going to keep the color that I already have on. You can go over what you just colored and it's going to be in the color that you selected. So you can even go, let's say to blue, like a dark blue, you can go over it as if they're like, you know, outside and it's dark outside or something. I found that really cool as well. And you can even go over it with like little shapes that your brushes has to offer. You know, just really cool things you can play around with. Um, let's see. Like if they're underneath a tree or something, um, I'm pretty sure there's like different ones you can select from. I actually don't know which one that would be, but yeah. Um, many things you can do with it. It's really cool. So yeah, there, there's that. Some simple basic tricks that I found really, really neat. But now let me show you guys something else that I found extremely cool and useful as well. If you guys like to create comics or manga, um, you can either draw what you want first and then hit frame divider. Hit somewhere on the screen, hit add frame. You can change the, you know, how big you want it to be, how long and how thick you want it to be. I usually prefer like three. Hit the check mark. And then you can go in and just do whatever you want with it. If you want, you can just do straight. And I know you can change like the spacing between it if you want to. Just a really cool feature that's really, really useful. You can either do this first and then go in and draw, or you can, like I said, draw first and then go over it with the little boxes. And yeah, um, you also have the ruler. So you can go up here beside the finger and hit this. Add straight ruler. And then once you've got that down, you can just... Oh, I'm on the wrong brush. Let me go back to a basic one. Okay, so now you can just draw over and then hit this and hit off. And there you have a straight line. So that's also neat. Also, I forgot to mention, this is just another simple little hack. You can double tap two fingers to undo, or you can just do that. So yeah, there is that. Now let me go into one of my already finished artworks and hit edit. I just want to show you guys something kind of cool on this as well. So let's see, actually let me go back to the other one that I had duplicated for this. Or okay, so let me go and merge all these together so I can kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. But you're going to go into FX and you can do many things with this. You can play around with it. <laughs> Do many, many things with it. You can even go hit pixelate. I found that really cool as well. They, they're constantly changing things, constantly adding things. It's really neat, really cool. So, you know, if you're into this kind of thing, oh, this looks pretty. Ooh, but yeah, um, there's that as well. Or you can go to artistic, you can hit this for anime background, you can change certain things on it if you want, or manga background, channels, shift, moving, zooming, you can make it like zooming in basically, you can hit glitch, there's the noise effect, which I really like that one as well, basically adds like little dots everywhere. Yeah, there's many things that this app has to offer. So I really, really recommend it. That's probably all I have for this video. I wanted to show you guys many other things as well, but um, I can't make this video extremely long. If you guys want a longer video, you know, feel free to let me know. I can also do like a little 
tutorial basically like I can draw something from scratch show you guys how I color it give you guys certain tips tricks and all that good stuff but yeah it's a really neat app like I said I I highly recommend it um, for me though I really use my finger a lot I don't use my stylus too much because I feel like for phones it's easier to use your finger or that's just how I got used to it that's pretty but yeah there's many things you can do with it like I said so hopefully this was kind of useful or if you're new to digital art, you know, hopefully you find this somewhat, you know, helpful in any way. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video here soon.